How are you all this morning? Hey. Oh, good. Good. Did you have a lovely evening? In, who, who won the dance? Anybody win the dance? I'd say Of course right. you did. Did, what, did you get a prize? I did. I won a I wanted to yeah, they have a lot of great winners. I, I let them have it. What did, big, you get? What, did, what did you end up getting? A big uh, 20,000 leagues. Uh, oh, 20, that was awesome. I wanted the oh, crack. I wanted the crack. Oh, that's what I heard. I heard the crack. Yeah, that? I know, oh, that's, that's I crack and all. <laughs> but a friend of mine won it. I got so mad because I, I, and she was dressed up and I didn't know it was her. So we were all standing next to the prizes. And they announced that the winner, and she, this gal goes right to the crack, and I wanted that. So yes. I had a uh -huh. and, she, and, and she's making it. she's making a beeline to it, and I go, no, I'm sorry, we've already given that one away. And she goes, oh, okay. And I, oh. Oh, come here. I, go, I wanted so badly just to grab it and run with it. I'm like, never going to win with that. So, yeah, it was a company. Go, boy. Party last night. Yeah. Well, anyway, folks, uh, and like I was telling the folks, we may wrap just about five minutes early, so that those that want to go see Nick Meyer oh, yes, will have a chance to run around the other side of the building and go see Nick Meyer. Oh, and it is, it is, he is phenomenal. Yeah, you got to um, see him. Yeah. If you weren't there yesterday, be sure to tell the moderator, don't tell him I told you this, <laughs> let him speak. Because <laughs> he cut him off, you know, cut him off on time, and it's like we don't care. I keep talking. He's so, anyway, I didn't tell you to say that. I'm just, just passing that on. Anyway, we're here to talk about the Bond girls, the girls of Bond. But we're probably going to talk about others next time if we get a chance. Caroline, it is so good to see you back after seven years. It's lovely to be back yeah, in I, I a decent hotel. Vividly yeah, the really panel that we did back then. I know. Ooh, back in the day. Yeah. How many of you were here seven years ago? Anybody here in 2016 to see that panel? Yes, yes. Then you know what we're talking about. You know, yeah. That was memorable. Uh, <laughs> it's lovely to be back. Lovely to be back actually in Atlanta. Yeah. And we were lucky enough, um, Tammy and I, my daughter and I, to fly in a day early. We flew in on the Wednesday. Oh, and goodness. on the Thursday we had a play day. And we went to the Botanical Gardens. Oh, which was yeah. so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Highly recommended. Very and cool. Beautiful. And of course, Trina, we just can't get apart from each other. No. It's How many years in a row is this now? I mean, I, I would have probably done an interview with you last year, but I, I had yeah. my 50th high school reunion, so I had to miss it last year. We've got to put a meeting like three, this because I think people are beginning to talk. My? Yeah, you're wrong. Right. You're wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was three. At least three. Yeah, that I can think of. Your first year was the year with Dick Miller, weren't you? Yes, yes, Miller? yes, yeah, it 2018. was. 2018. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, uh, it, it, we even did the virtual one together. Yeah, so, right. So, Forget so. about these. Anyway, <laughs> that was fun. Right? Yeah. Had fun with we had the same agent for a while, so it was sort of we, we had we had a commonality there that we shared. Was that a theatrical agent? Yeah, or a uh, oh, film yeah. agent. Yeah, a film you, agent. You're an actor. Oh, I'm an actor. Yeah. Well, I, I like to think I am, but I don't know if <laughs> the industry thinks that. Yeah. Doing the club. You, think, uh, you, know, you, know, you know that deal. Yeah. So anyway, 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 we're all on strike now, so okay. nobody's acting right now. We're not in England, though. We're not, but I think yeah. a lot of them do support. I need to get my passport yeah. updated so I can go to England. Come over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, come okay. In <laughs> we've got, we've got, okay, we've got an interesting, we're going to be talking about two different Bond movies, <clears throat> one that involves Sir Sean Connery, and one that involves, is this, was he's Russian, a sir, sir, also was well. a sir? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Who do we want to go with first? Let's see now. Diamonds are forever. I think came out before Spy Love. Right? I think it did. Yeah. Okay. Seven. So if you don't mind, we'll start chronologically and talk about huh? Trina's phenomenon. Because I'm younger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many people remember Trina's phenomenal scene in Diamonds Are Forever? <laughs> Playing. Oh, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Iconic. Please tell us what it's like to kick Sean Anna oh, Connery's hands. <laughs> it was such a wonderful scene. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> we had, and of course, I didn't know who Sean, so Sean, well, he wasn't Sir then, but so Sean was, I didn't know him. I didn't, I'd never, I'd never seen a Bond film. Oh, and, and, and I New York. A Bond film. No, I was from the dance world in New York, and I just, you know, when it came to LA, actually I came to LA to do the movie Great White Hope, 
and uh, in the 69 with James Earl Jones. And I worked with him in um, uh, Emperor Jones in, in New York. So Don McHale, the choreographer that I worked with, uh, he did an international uh, tour. I, and he was choreographing Great White Hope. And so he said, you know, would you like to come and do the movie? Yes, yeah, sure, I'd like to come and, you know, and, and, and flights at that time was probably, you know, hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like 60, back in 69, yeah. Well, that's what, 19, what, 72? No, no, the movie came out in 72. I came, okay. I went to L.A. to do uh, oh, Great White gotcha, Hope gotcha. in 69. Oh, yeah, 69 for mm -hmm. Great White Hope, yeah. Because we had come back from the tour uh -huh. uh, in uh, six, uh, 68, 68, right. okay. and then he came to L.A. And I loved L.A. because I'm from New York, as you and uh, <laughs> I don't like the cold. <laughs> LA, yeah, sure. Like, and my first time, actually, actually it wasn't, because I don't know if anyone knows about the Graham, Martha Graham. Okay. Yes. 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 And I was trained, because I went to high school in performing arts, and I majored in uh, the dance department, and I majored in So you Graham go to fame, yeah. The, the yeah, that's, fame. yeah, I'm the yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I uh, performed, uh, um, um, uh, Anna Sokolo, uh, who was uh, Miss Graham's, uh, one of her original dancers, I was in her company, and so we came, we went to Berkeley to do a concert. And that was only, I, first time I had gone to, L, to LA when I came back from uh, performing with the Dunham in, in Paris. And uh, so I did come to LA, and that's why I knew I would like it. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, oh yeah. So when Donnie said come in, that that's what brought me to to uh, LA. And I didn't come to be a star. <laughs> you know, I you know, came to do that, and I liked it, and I stayed. And actually, I did something before that. I forgot if I forget it. Beyond the Valley of the Doll. Did you do that? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> One of, my favorite, one of my favorite movies. Oh, I forgot you were in that. I was, I was, I was, my friend, yeah, my, I'm written, speaking written, part. Written by Roger Ebert. Yes. 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 And, um, um, no, what was her name? You're the dog. No, this is the one with Donald the, Reed. Oh, is that the first the, one? The, the, was that the first the, one? The second one. The original one was Beyond the Valley. Yeah, the, yes. 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 the original Beyond one was actually a pretty good yeah. movie. Beyond was yes. the Beyond was the yes. <laughs> Beyond was the original. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's an ultimate cult film. Yeah. 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 That, um, it's different. <laughs> Marcia Bartrow <laughs> was the black, uh, uh, one of the stars and the mm -hmm. lead characters. Mm -hmm. So she and I were worked with uh, Kevin Dunham together in New York. So she said, when I'm doing this movie, come and just be in standby or do some stunt work. I said, I don't do stunt work, I'm a dancer. And she said, oh, child, come on in and just do that and you'll get $1,000 for a day or something. Well, I'm coming so. and uh, well, I'll be there tomorrow. And uh, so well, they have, you know, the stairs, I think the scene I had to fall down the stairs. And, and uh, she said, well, the stairs are, uh, uh, are uh, they weren't, you know, real stairs, yeah. like rubber. And stuff. I thought, okay. That was the same studio that was doing Great White Hope. So I was there like two weeks before I did Great White Hope. So it all worked out pretty yeah. well Perfect. on that. And uh, af after that, oh, I have to do, I have to say this all the time. My father was lead tennis sax man for Cab Calloway's band. Back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, yeah. He taught me so much about music and all. And so uh, um, what I did, because he, well, he, he used to teach also, like on the weekends, he had pri private classes for flute or the saxophone. And I learned from that, if I was home, because I was dancing all the time. Every single you school. <laughs> yes. And to Sundays, I would go down to the grade school and take classes there. Um, and uh, Saturday, of course, and uh, to Dunham School and things like that. But I would stay and, and uh, you know, learn a little music. And he taught me a little bit about the flute also. Mm -hmm. So I knew a lot about classic movie. He had all the records. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, about rec you don't know records. Yeah. No, you know Rick Dorian. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, so those I big, those big things. Those big things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And I used to listen to all the records. But I knew, and I did, you know, Broadway a lot. So I, what I did was after I did uh, Great White Hope, I put together a show with classical songs and Broadway songs. And, I, and someone referred a, a, a lady to me, a manager, and booked me in the Ye, Ye Little Club. And I know, unless you're over 50, 60, you may know of the Ye Little Club in Beverly Hills. And that was, I did my show there. And the, uh, she invited all the agency, William Morris and you know, all of them. And so I ended up signing with uh, Agency for the Performing Arts, APA. It was one of the agency. And I did William Morris for my commercials. But that's how I started. And that's, I give him the credit, uh, um, Marty Klein, my agent, that you know, was really the catalyst for me to get the bond movie. Because what they said, what they did, or what she, he did was, of course, call me, um, you know, call, yeah, yeah, the, the, no cell phones in there. You know, it's one thing. Anyway. <laughs> so he called me and um, said, dude, would you, you know, there's the, the um, there's the, uh, the, uh, the England um, people here from this Bond series, Bond movies. I said, yeah, I didn't know who he was talking about. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> And so he said, yes, and they're interested in you for this role of, um, I don't know if he said the name, but he said, and it involves, you know, they want dance, it involves dance, they want dance, but they want also for, for the person to fight this, uh, you know, Sean Connery, and you, you have to know karate. And I said, yeah, I know karate from being taught by Catherine Dunham, taught me La Akev Karate, which is Haitian Karate. And that's the Karate. He didn't know I knew Karate. He said, do you know that? Yeah, that I know, of course. He knew I was a dancer. And um, he said, we'd like to, you know, for you to come and audition for them. They'll be in for this week or so, you know, auditioning. Amazing. Wow. So I said, yeah, and I love the character. So I, I went in. Um, First time was like at a, a big table, and so uh, Broccoli was there, Sir Hamilton, and I think his wife, and I think Bob Simmons. The, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, yeah. Son. yeah, a few people were there at the table. We just talked about, like I'm talking here, asking. He knew about, they knew about my dad's career, but they you know, wanted to know more and all that. And so, yeah, and then I had a second interview. He called me, and I said, oh, uh, was the. Um, for the screen test, you know, to see if I could talk <laughs> at least, you know. And, uh, and then the last interview was the dance. I said, I want you to see what you can do. I knew the character. Mm. So he said, you know, do, so I did the kicks and turns and everything. I did everything. He said, do you want music? I said, I don't need music. <laughs> <laughs> just like you did. Yeah, just give me the yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Bop, 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 you know, anything. <laughs> So, yeah, so they said, um, and I, I loved it. I just yeah. loved it. And that was the first audition. I had three auditions. Four, yes. right? And surprisingly, as you know, if you go to an audition in acting or like a singing, you're, 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 um, you have a schedule for that time, a schedule, no other person, uh, female was there. Wow. Black or white. In all of my, all three, or just none of them, nobody, nobody. I said, whoa. And no one has even come since then to me and said, you know what, I wanted to come up for uh, the bomb throw. Not a soul. Well, that's the I weirdest thing. You must have had it. I, they just, they had, they had you in mind. They so watched you. Awesome. Yeah. They just wanted to watch you. Yeah. See how you did. Yeah. Yeah. You, you had the role. I, just, oh, that's I don't know. You know because going to dance auditions and all that, you know, yeah. you do that yeah. dance audition. But my gosh, that was the first time. And they didn't say, well, we wanted a specifically wanted a black, you know, that's so not no, I, nothing. No racial, nothing was even talked about. Like nothing. And so I had no idea. Like I said, I had never seen a, a Bond film. I didn't know Sean from anybody, from my dancer friend. You know, I said, who's Sean Connery? I've never seen him in the film. He 
was just one. He, um, we stayed at, it was shot, so my, some of you might know, in, in Palm Springs, Incredible location. California, uh, which I ended up living into, um, at uh, the Elrod House. And we were staying at the same hotel. So, uh, Sir uh, Sean, I was uh, 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 we're rehearsing a couple of days until before he came on the set. So he, I got a note from Sir Sean saying uh, to meet him downstairs in the uh, restaurant. And um, this was before I'd be picked up. And I guess that was maybe six something or whatever in the morning. And uh, so I got to meet him. He was sitting there. He was saying, I'll never forget. Saying I wanted to meet the person, you know, the woman that was going to beat me up. It was just so comfortable. For, well, I've been, I had worked in Broadway and other, you know, with stars, name stars. So it wasn't a big thing because, again, I didn't know who he was anyway. So it was another actor just like talking to you. But he was just so comfortable, and that was just, I'll never forget that. It's such a wonderful thing to do because you don't get that much time to talk on the set, to no. know that, you know, really to get. So we had like a hmm, 30 minutes or so. You know, he had coffee. I don't drink, I've never drank coffee. I had my tea, herbal. Yeah, something, a little bun or something, yeah. It was the nicest thing for him to do that. And then even on the set, if you see uh, my pictures out there, there was a, um, a still photographer all day. If you remember, might be on your set too. All day, you know, they just taking pictures, pictures. And, and he was just great to stand there. And there was a picture there, a, a picture. We were just waiting for set changes. And I'm doing this. So I don't even remember doing that. And he's just standing. He's like, oh, sitting there. I said, what did I do? <laughs> the photographer took, you know, got all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he, he was good. God bless his soul. Yes. Yeah. Great to work with. Okay. <laughs> did, you, did you have any idea that the action was going to surround uh, be around a pool? No, the water I never. You know, well, I, I saw it the first day I was yeah, there. Yeah. We went through, you know, the uh, um, let's say like the choreography went through. It was it was like almost a short a, a, a horseshoe shape scene because we went yeah, yeah. there and then we kind of went around. It's here where I do the floor thing, and then around it's here where we do the kick, kick him and stuff like that, and we kick him. And, then we kick him towards the pool, and that's what, and I actually I have to say I didn't I didn't jump in the pool because I'm sag, and uh, it was actually just sag then not sag after, but uh, I couldn't do that because if I I drove it oh real rocks, real rocks, mm -hmm. not plastic not rubber. Real rocks. I was that was my I was on a real rock because the, the house itself is, is made from a rock. Yeah. And so that's Beautiful. rock I sit on. And then those rocks right there when you dive in. So I mean I can swim, but I'm not a di good diver. But even if I could, I, they wouldn't let me. <coughs> if I would have hit my anything, they would have you know, you know seen seen again. So I didn't do that. And then there was a uh, a sun person, sun lady to to do that. Yeah. Do you, I wasn't there when he, that was the second year. I know I've asked you this before, Trina, but I'm going to ask you again. Have you ever been in touch with Bambi since, since the movie? Once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw once, and she is... Because I know she's not acting. Right? Oh, never this did. was the only thing she ever did. The only thing. She did it tap hotly, and she had, mm -hmm. um, she was a uh, Olympic artist right. at that time. Right. And she was quite young. I think she's like 16 or so. Yeah. And, uh, and um, she had come in, I, get, I think, the second day, second or third day mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, I was there by myself the first day. And then, um, then we went over it again as something. I think we were going over the section where I do the thing on the, on the floor. And then I think she came in that, that, mm -hmm. that next day. Because the, the original Bambi that was uh, there, I, I, I guess, I'm, of course, they didn't tell me anything, but I guess that they wanted uh, to the Bambi to do the Olympic things that she did. Yeah. And to me, yeah, they, she was a gymnast. A gymnast, yes, absolutely. And, and I uh, stay on the floor. I said, that's just fine. 
Well, and when, yeah, when you look at the final cut, too, it's like they showcase you, they showcase her, yeah. and you rarely see them yeah. together, but it's, a, it's and we an had, awesome scene. Yes, and we got along just fine, and, you know, for her to, she was young, so she just, yeah, yeah she, <laughs> she did everything. Yeah, she, she did everything. And at that time, you know, that's 70, most people know, was, uh, was in 70, 1970, and, um, the, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get but maybe people have some questions, so yeah, I'll keep we'll going. get around back yeah. to that. Now, let's go to Caroline here because you, a few years later, yeah. uh, brought Sir Roger Moore has taken over the yes. reigns as James Bond. And tell us how <clears throat> the spy who loved me came about. Mm -hmm. uh, what brought you to the set? What I, got you there? I think what got me there, um, and I'm so grateful that it did get me there. But I had done a campaign in. England, excuse me, I've been talking a lot, so my voice is, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so excuse that. I had done a campaign in England for a men's dark rum, which was called um, Lamb's Navy Rum, and I had done the advert, I actually did the advert for 12 years, but the first, um, first time I did it, because they had men, first of all, to advertise it, sailors, big tattoos, you know, big beards and stuff, and then they thought, actually the product isn't selling, let's try and get a, a woman, a girl, <laughs> to try and advertise it. So I know by a series of events, I, I landed the job, but they still wanted a tattoo. Mm. They didn't want a beard, which is just as well, but they, <laughs> yeah, just as well, couldn't grow a beard. Uh, well, not then, uh, couldn't grow a beard. And then they um, did a, drew a little tattoo on my shoulder, of of a of a of an anchor mm. and a ship, and then they what they did they said do you mind do you mind if we put a towel around you? And I said no. We actually shot it at the Vogue Studios in Hanover Square in London, so it was quite quite a good prestigious thing. So we shot it. Um, so I wore the towel, and all you saw was me looking rather coyly over my shoulder with a ship on my shoulder. <laughs> Tricky to say. Ship on my shoulder. Yes, he's tricky to say. It's so cool, couldn't it? You can cheat the girl. So, so. Anyway, basically, so what had happened? So I did the campaign for 12 years, but in the meantime, um, Cubby used to travel up and down to Brighton because he had a place near Brighton as well as London. Had seen the advert because it was great with posters, mm -hmm. kind of all over London. Yeah. Actually, terrifying. Remember, <laughs> terrifying because I thought. I remember my dad, who worked in the city as a lawyer, he was going to Waterloo Station in London, and as he came up the escalator in front of him, and I hadn't seen it at that point, he was confronted by this 30-foot poster of his daughter in a wetsuit, cut down yeah. to her navel, and covered in water, and strapped to my thigh it was a knife. So he's <laughs> he went in that day, and apparently all his clients said, I think we saw your daughter <laughs> on, 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 the, on the tube. He said, he said yes, and? <laughs> no, he was quite proud of it. <laughs> um, but basically, Cubby probably had been up and down on the train. He'd seen the advert, and they were quite, sort of quite formidable yeah. adverts. And um, yeah. so he asked me into the office. I went into the office in Audley Street in in London. Do you want to answer it? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't mind. You can have a chat to anybody. Um, yes, so so basically he'd seen that and then he looked at some of the other films I'd done. This was in 76, so he looked at some yeah, of the work. Yeah, you've had a few I'd had by that because I've already fallen Yeah, I'd had Simba and Simba and Hackers and at the Earth. So I'd done a few films. So, so basically he said, um, he, he said, he interviewed me, he interviewed a lot of other ladies, and then uh, I heard two weeks later that he wanted me for the part of Naomi, uh, which was very exciting. I was also up for Superman at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right, I forgot about that. That's yeah, right. and I, I... You, you were up you were, you were uh, so, for... Uh, uh, yeah. so. Right, yes, yeah, so, ah, and they offered yeah. me at the same time us. Which would have opened up Superman too. It, it would have done, but I wouldn't have been right for it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have cast me as Ursa at all. <laughs> Whereas Sarah Douglas, 
who is a fabulous actress and woman, made the perfect Urza. So, yes, yeah, so I got my little bit in, in uh, Spola. I, mean, I, was, I was delighted because she was fun. Yeah. And I yeah, thought going into the role, I, I thought going into the role and meeting Roger, I was very <coughs> nervous to meet him. He was the nicest, most modest, twinkly man and fabulous actor. Very underestimated. Oh, but, um, uh, you know, I think he was a fabulous actor. And very generous. He gave his time. And when I worked opposite him, um, he didn't, a lot of big actors and smaller actors, just when you're doing your shot to the camera, they are, um, they say, oh, well, do you mind if I go and have a coffee? And, and so the second unit director, first AD stands in, or else you, you're lucky if you get a hand, you know, so you're acting to the hand. Whereas with Roger, he was there every step of the way. He did it exactly the same way. So, you know, it was it was just I love working with that film. It was great. Had some very funny incidents. <laughs> I know a couple of funny incidents. Yeah. I don't know, but some of these folks that were here Which seven one? years ago probably remember uh, it involved you sitting on something. I did, <laughs> yes. It was my opening scene, my it was my big moment and I was very nervous and I'd met Louis Global. Uh, Claude uh, Renoir, the, the DP, and of course Roger, and, and Richard Keel. And my big moment was to come up and meet ba uh, Barbara, Barbara Bach, and Roger uh, Bond. So, and they had this wonderful Reva speedboat, fabulous speedboat, was kind of state of the art at the time, very fast. And so I think we got in the speedboat, Lewis talked me through what he wanted me to do, I had the lines. Um, and then uh, he said, okay, you're going to go quite out to sea because we want the speed of the speedboat coming up and then you coming into the sea and doing the sea. So I said, okay, right. Um, so we set off. So we had the, the driver of the speedboat, the first AD lying on the floor of the speedboat, you know, because he had yes. the headphones right. so he could hear what yeah. Lewis wanted. And so we set out to sea and then... Um, uh, Basically, what happened? I, I talked through it with him. What he wanted, he'd wanted me to stand up so he could see me long shot coming in, way off, and then to sit down, then and then to stand up again when I got to the dock to meet Roger. Right, I had that, put my lines ready. So the speedboat is starting, rim, 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 up, and I thought, yes, that's interesting. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm fine. I'm going to be strong. And then suddenly I heard something. I thought. That's funny. It doesn't, it doesn't really sound like a speedboat. It's kind of a zzz, zzz, zzz. <laughs> and I thought, well, what is that? And then, um, okay. And then, and then the first AD said, action. So, so I, I stand up. I stand up, and I'm way out at sea at this point. I'm ready. Got my lines. Got everything. And then the first AD lying on the floor said, he wants you to sit down. So I sat down. And as I sat down, I thought, what is happening? Something's happening. I, I, my, my bottom, my bottom felt it was on fire. And I thought, I thought what is this? And then what's happening? I don't know what to do. I've got my lines, I've got there. It's my first scene, my opening scene, my big scene. I have to do it. So, so it's like, like, come up, I'm getting ready. First AD said, he wants you to stand up. So I stand up, stand up. And I'm, at this point, I am in such pain. And I've got Roger there, I can see Barbara, I'm looming up to the set. This is my big moment, my first entry into Bond. And I'm there, and I get off the speedboat. And I realize at that point, um, well, I didn't actually realize till I'd done my lines and stuff. And the little, uh, a costume lady came running over. She said, what's the matter? I said, could you? Could you lift up my robe and look at my bottom? So she lifted up the robe and looked at my bottom and I sat on a bee, basically. <laughs> I'd been stung on the, yes. Wow. I think poor bee died, but obviously, <laughs> you know, not a nice way to go. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that, that was my first opening scene. And I remember Roger coming over. He said, darling, he said, are you all right? He said, well, I'm not really sure. I think I've been stung. He said, my dear, would you like me to kiss it better? <laughs> <laughs> and his wife, Louise, 
Louisa at the time was right there. Looking <laughs> <laughs> at me. I said, thanks, Rog, I'm fine. So I went and had my bottom sorted out. Yes, so that was one of my entry. Yeah. That's one of my favorite stories. Oh, it's, it's, it's true. Well, I, I, I got I to I gotta tell you that I love the movie The Spy Who Loved Me. Thank but you. Watching it, a bunch of us you know, always want to see the Bond films. Yeah. Uh, buddies, and uh, you made a great bad person. But it killed us. They killed you too soon. Wow. So we're watching this movie and you're up in this helicopter and then yeah. kaboom and we're all about it. No! 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 We came here to see Caroline yeah. Monroe, for God's sake. Yeah. Yeah. Short but sweet. It's she went explosive. Up. I don't know. Yeah, it was an explosive exit. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I always like to think, because I remember I was somewhere in Germany, I think, and somebody came up to me, I remember, and they said, they said, you're here. I said, yes, yes, I'm here. And he said, he said, and that's you in the picture? I said, yes, with Roger Moore? I said, yes. He said, you're here. <laughs> he said, yes. He said, but you died. <laughs> I said, well, it was very sweet. And I said, well, I had a parachute. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say. I Jane, my age was sick. She looked at me and said, I'm alive. <laughs> Sorry. I do, it just came to my mind. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and I have to say about back then, uh, see, you wouldn't be in that position now. They would have a stunt person standing there. That's the same with yeah. myself when I was underneath, when, under, uh, under the water yes. for 20 I'm, minutes. That's and, so yeah. And also for Lana when she was under the water in yes. the uh, with the um, Lana Wood mm -hmm. uh, with the brick. I mean, See, yeah, we we did a lot more <laughs> then, you know, than it is now. There was yeah. true. There oh, was, oh, there wasn't so much health and safety. Uh, yeah, there was there right. was safety. Right, right. I nearly got singed to death in, at the Earth Court mm -hmm. with them. Um, you know, you just you had the real fire. Mm -hmm. The thing about the films. Yeah, that, the I, I wanted yeah. to ask you about that because we didn't get a chance to talk about that when yeah. we scored the last time. But, and but some things. Everything. Really, so that was real. That, that was real. That, that the fire, whole wall of fire. Real. Yeah. But the thing is, everything was done practically in front of your eyes. Yes. So therefore. For me, I think as an actor, I think it really helps you because you you are in the jeopardy at the time. You know, you are, you feel it yeah. because it's the real thing. No CGI, nothing no, like the CGI in its face. There's nothing like the real thing. For me. I mean, that's for me. Yeah. Yeah, that, that had to be. I mean, you went to the ringer in that film. We did. <laughs> we, we, we did. We really did. We, and it was all actually in the studio. But all the right. eye was real. And when the Mayhaws came down on the Kirby wires to to the you know the mystical Mayhaws, I I saw stars because one yeah. one of the stuntmen in this great big heavy suit clonked me on the head oh. with his with his yeah. you know with his couldn't help me poor chap because he was being controlled on a Kirby wire. But, and Peter Cushing was there, who was meant to be in the trance too. And he kind of grabbed me, he knew what was happening. So, yeah, you know, it's scary, some of them. Have you been in some funny, you know, funny stunts yeah, and yeah. things? Yeah, several, yeah, I can. Yeah, it wouldn't happen today, no, actually. No, Apart yeah. from Don, Tom Cruise and Daniel Craig. And they, yeah. they do their own. They do a lot, oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And that's, mm, their insurance is a million well, dollars. Well, he's, <laughs> he's, he's paying for Each most time. of the movies, so I guess he has and to do it. And then he has to do it. Oh, Tom. Tom Cruise has yeah, to yeah, do his own stuff. Yeah, 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 you can't do that normally yeah. anymore. No. Did you have any dangerous situations like you did Cuba? The, the film Cube, right? No. Oh, no, that was very, that's Pauline. Oh, Sorry. That. <laughs> just ignore what I just said. It's been a long weekend. But I mean, but I know you've had some, some uh, harrowing experiences with some other things you've had. Yeah, um, well, with Dr. Castrata's and mothers, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, some things. Well, that was in the Philippines. Uh, the mothers will be. It's there. always a yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 no health and safety. Oh, oh, I was going to say, yeah, most really. days anything no. wants. I mean, it, um, I'm no telling you. Safety. Yeah, yeah. We had a fire scene too, which was <laughs> real fire. Yes. We had to run out the, the little ca cabins and things. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. <laughs> and it was hot there. <laughs> yeah. 
I do, I, I do want to ask you, Trina, the, uh, if you're not aware, folks, Trina's been working on a book for a few years here. And so she always refuses to tell us any of the good stories from the book until you get so. The book is now being edited. You're, you're editing it. Right? Uh, well, I, I finished my autobiography yeah. a few months ago. So now I'm reading through it, you know, correcting the spelling as much as right. I can. Well, thank God for the spelling correction and all that. <laughs> <laughs> I spelled that wrong? So anyway, uh, and, um, uh, and uh, you know, d deleting some things and adding, but I'm taking it to, uh, I'll be giving it to the uh, actual, you know, professional editor when I finish reading okay. through it. I yeah, you're close. Yeah, probably next month. So I'm, I'm going to ask this to you, I think I asked this to you at the virtual, uh, at the virtual con, I think mean, the last time you talked to me. Um, can you drop any names that might be appearing in the book <coughs> of, of interest for the longest to I am want to read it? Everybody. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, soon. Everybody. Oh. She does this nice. every time. I can't get her to just one name. One name. That's all. Oh my god. Well, you know, everyone that I've worked with, yeah. uh, choreographers, the directors. Well, well that narrows it down. I <laughs> they're all, all named. I mean, Caroline. The Caroline actually was the first Bond woman. I knew Gloria Hendry, who did Live and Let Die, before. She, we both did the movie because uh, she was a model back in New York, and uh, her, um, her uh, my ex, who's gone now, uh, he modeled with her. Um, yeah, before I met him back in the in the sixties, he was one of the top uh, black models there, um, and um, so I knew her. But Gloria, but girl, I was the first Bond woman that that I met, and we've done. A lot. So much. A lot of charity stuff. She charity. comes to a lot of the charity. Yes. You're coming over next year. Yes, I do love it. Yeah. We always go out. We have good time. Stuff. We buy sparkles. <laughs> we As you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yes. But yeah. Definitely <laughs> more is more. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, no, I can. We've got, we've got just a few minutes to take some questions from the audience. Uh, it's, Nick Mars can be starting in about 15 minutes, so let's take a couple of questions real quick. Uh, open it up for Caroline and Trina. Go ahead. Caroline? Yes. What was it like to work with all these special effects of Tom Savini? Oh, uh, uh, what was yeah. it like to work with the special effects? Had you seen that kind of effect before? Uh, no. N no. I have done, um, I've, well, I've, I've worked on that Hammer films, and they were not Tom Savini. Right. They were very gentle. We had a lot of um, uh, Kensington gore blood, but we didn't have anything like Tom. But the night before the shoot, for me, um, Bill, Bill Lusty, took me down to see Halloween because I'd never seen a, you know, I suppose you'd call them, what would you call them, slashes now? Yes, slashes. So he said, I want you to see this. And he took me down, and my eyes were on stalks because I'd never seen anything quite like it. I was terrified. He said, right, Caroline, do, do, do you see what we, we, we want of you? You know, it's going to be this kind of film. Small budget, tiny budget film. And we have this wonderful actor who I'd worked with just for now before in Star Crash. Um, so, so playing the evil Count Zarthon with the full makeup, lovely nails. He was just fabulous. Um, but no, I hadn't. But I remember first meeting Tom, who I really liked. I thought he was fantastic, very clever. And uh, I remember I, I nipped along to a night shoot and I was just gonna stay and have coffee and just watch a couple of scenes. I ended up staying till six o'clock in the morning, just agog at what he did with, you know, kind of just came up with, he improvised with stuff, but he's, no wonder he, he's the iconic uh, sure. special effects man Absolutely. that he was. And he worked, as I say, with a very small budget back in the day. But um, and he has schools and all sorts of oh, things now. Yeah, I yeah, still got a school in Pittsburgh. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, he's just unbelievable. Really nice chap too. He's lovely. I've known him for yes. well since since Maniac. So, gosh, that was Maniac. I mean, that's eighty. Eighty. Yeah, I was going to say good point. I always forget about yeah. Caroline yeah. and Maniac. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. And then we worked with jo I worked with Joe Spinelli in the, the Fanatic or the Last Horror Film. Joe was awesome. And that oh, was yeah. unbelievable. That just came out on four K. Literally. 
Did yeah. it? Yes. So I haven't yeah. seen it for forever. So yeah, I think I did some talking for it. You know, added bits, sure. things, and yeah. No, it's still be Tom Zavini. Yes. <laughs> Good question. Next question. Yeah, I will ask Ms. Parks what you remember about uh, James Earl Jones and the Great White Hope. What do I remember yes. about him? Yes. What a great person to work with. To, because what I said, I, I did um, Emperor Jones with him before, you know, on Broadway. Uh, and off Broadway we did before, um, you know, before that. And he was, um, and he also danced a little bit. Because I, I wow. was actually, uh, Donnie also choreographed Emperor Jones. And we would, the scene where he's running, you know, the king is running away and all that. So we did this scene and he's right next to me. And he's, you know, like this size then too. And we all were. That's you still so. are that size. <laughs> Perfection. I mean, so, sure I am. So anyway, <laughs> and he's doing. We're doing this thing like we call the yangbalu in uh, in Haitian dance. It's the rolling of the back, and so we're doing this thing. And he's and I, he's like. Over here, and he's holding my hand, and I'm holding another dancer's hand, and he's going, oh, he's going up right, Jane, to that dance. <laughs> and he's going at Yonk, but he would take some dance classes from uh, from Donnie because he knew he had to dance a little bit. What a great person to work with! And then, of course, in Great White Hope, if you've seen it, uh, the time that he comes down off the after he wins, you know, the character wins, and he and Jane uh, Alexander are on the uh, cart. Uh, Driven by, I think, by horses. And yeah, he comes out and we have the big celebration. And he comes out and he's dancing, and I'm right next to him dancing. Man, <laughs> it's just, just having lots of fun. He really liked it. Yes, it's fun. A really nice person to work with. And I knew his father also. Mm -hmm. He lived in New York. Um, sounded just like James. They both sound. Wow. And of course, like he was the voice. Yeah, he was, he was the, of Darth Vader. Yeah, he was the voice of Darth Vader. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> And so, yeah. We have yes, right there. yes. May I ask about Boris Johnson and Captain Crono? How that movie was? Boris Johnson, yeah, that, I love making that film. Great I movie. think today, uh, today, this is possibly one of my favorite films, my favorite roles, personally. Boris Johnson, German actor, fabulous actor, still working today, and the nicest, sweetest man. Um, he, le he learned the sword fighting from Bill Hobbs, who, who played Lord. Downward in, in the film. Um, they, they worked so hard on that. He was, I think he was the perfect Cronus. I think he was absolutely lovely. Was I'm just sad that they didn't get to. No, they should have done more. They, they, they really could have done two or three more. The plan was because yeah, Brian they, Clemens had you know, written yeah. more and wanted to do. That's but right. it wasn't well received in the. Uh, it was a late uh, coming out, it was a late um, yeah. showing. And, and I think it came out with Thunderball and Lightfoot, an American film. Yeah. Wasn't received well because it didn't have a lot of, they had no sex. Had it, no, and uh, it had no marketing either. Yes. They didn't market it properly at all. No, they didn't market it. it was, Monster Kids discovered it later. They you know, did. They didn't even know it was around until. No, they, they, they didn't. And it's a beautiful yeah. short film. Yeah. And, you know, not lovely performances from mm -hmm. those actors. Um, and yeah, sadly, it's too es esoteric, I think. It didn't kind of hit the market at the time, but it's gained legs. And Brian Clemens was an you know, unbelievable writer and question, director. The only question I had is, why didn't you go with him? <laughs> why didn't I? He obviously didn't want me in it, did he? But the plan was maybe she, you know, if we'd have done another one, he would have found her, picked her up again. I would hope so. I mean, that I was, I hope so. I mean, the first time I saw the book, it was like, yeah. oh, you got to go with him. Not a gentleman, was he? And you know the cart in the beginning where they, he rides off? Yep. I had to run barefooted to try oh. and get on that. Yeah. The first time I That's just, true, you were barefooted that whole month. I was barefoot yeah. and dirtied up. Nice. Uh, Five yeah. minutes in makeup. A little bit of black, a little bit of black. That was yeah. a nice dirty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Nice question. Most fabulous. Anybody else? Oh, okay, we got one in the back. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Andrew. I'm here from USA Today. Mm -hmm. um, I've met both of you in the past at yes. this event, and I wanted to ask what keeps you coming back uh, to do events like this? Well, when they pay you like a thousand dollars, sure, I'll go. 
No, I just love being uh, doing these these things and having friends like. Mm. And you. Like who, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be you. you and, you know, and us and Deva. We bond again, don't we? Always we bond. We always we bond. <laughs> oh, well. But, uh, you know, seeing Carol, uh, Carol Pauline and everybody. You know, my friend. And but it was such a great. you, because we and, and people that would you see, you it know, coming. The and same, would it be? Yeah. You know, if, if you didn't come, if we would be come, what, Yeah, why would we, we be here? And Anthony is amazing. That's yes. Yeah, what, what, what would I do with our bomb fans? Sure. What would you, you know to do and about Pama fans? That's that's what it's we're true. about. Yeah. You know? Can't do this without you. No. And we'd like to see the people coming back and you know, greeting them. It's like, oh my family. Oh, I've seen you. And when they and sometimes I mean, I have been here for quite a few years, yeah. and suddenly they're grown. The children yeah, are yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they say, do you remember? <coughs> and then they show me a picture. Yes. It's just Isn't a nice so families and fans. It's a very amazing. friendly, fan friendly, but also right. uh, child, child friendly. Yes. Yeah. 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 And being told that you still look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us look the same. Look at this lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Thank you. laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, ladies, <laughs> it is you. almost that time, and if you will indulge me, for having to put up with me twice, I would like to give you both an official Monster Attack mug. Oh, I love it. Our that it. is a souvenir of our... Oh, thank you, sir. That's so nice. So you can you <laughs> pop nice in tea, tea or any adult tea. beverage that you, you choose. That's so nice. Thank you. And hopefully, uh, thank you. you know, can't wait to see you back here again. Yes, I'm host to you. I always love it when our paths cross. Yes, me too. Without any COVID or anything. I know, that was sad. I've been able to. Yeah. Have you all had a good time? That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.